All right, JMC 6000 here, and what I have with me today is the brand new 2023 Ford Escape ST Line Select. And if you remember quite a while back, I did a video on the Ford Escape. Um, I actually did a video on a 2021 model, I believe it was, or 2022. Anyway, I wanted to compare it. Now I have the actual 2023 model with me, but it's lurking a big surprise underneath the hood. Let me show you. Um, for, the, for the looks apart, I, I love the way the, the new Escape looks. I love the ST line uh, grill. Um, right here we have the Ford symbol. We have a front camera on this model. We have a radar sensor right up there. Uh, all LED headlights. This is an LED um, daytime running light. LED turn signals, LED fog lights on this ST line. The 19 inch rims. Pretty awesome with Bridgestone Copia. I think that's how you pronounce it, Copia tires. Anyway, this is called the SG Line Select All Wheel Drive 38,750. We're about ready to get underneath the hood to the big surprise. The back end of the new Escape, uh, they dressed up the back end just a little bit. Uh, brand new taillights that actually go around like this in a kind of a boomerang fashion. Um, LED uh, turn signals, LED stop lights, and LED backup lights as well on the new escape and then let me show you underneath the hood and then we'll talk about the interior so big surprise underneath the hood in fact it lurks a brand new engine from ford now you may be like look it says two liter ecoboost how is it a brand new engine let me show you brand new engine from ford it's a brand new design of the two liter ecoboost here it is now, if anybody knows a two liter EcoBoost from prior generations, you know that this looks totally different underneath the hood than anything that has the EcoBoost before, which would be the Maverick, the older Escapes, whatever the case may be, anything that had this engine before, they're now sporting this brand new generation of the two liter EcoBoost. In fact, this brand new generation is no longer made in Spain, but it's actually made in Cleveland, Ohio. Pretty cool. So this engine family, shares its lineage with the brand new 2.3 EcoBoost that's found in the 2024 Mustang, the MPC uh, engine. Now, if you don't know what that is, you can kind of look that up. Ford introduced a brand new generation of the 2.3 EcoBoost, the MPC, I believe it's, I uh, forget what the acronym stands for. Um, it'll come back to me, but anyway, this is the two liter version of the 2.3 that they introduced in the Mustang for the 2024. Um, so you can tell the difference, now, not only by the way the engine looks, but also this has aluminum valve cover. The uh, intake variable and the exhaust variable valve timing is actually on the side here uh, instead of on the top of the valve covers now. Um, this also sports dual, sorry, dual injection. It not only has direct injection, but also has port injection as well. So it's able to clean off the back of the intake valves far better than the old two liter and the old 2.3. Um, anyway, as you can tell, this engine physically looks different. Um, we have the spark plug coils right on top that are actually different from generations prior. High pressure fuel pump is over here. And then the intake is totally different. So if you look at a two liter EcoBoost today, uh, the older generation, you can see that the intake, it, it kind of has these, um, I don't know, four fingers that kind of go up into the engine and then it kind of wraps down and goes down below here. This intake, on the other hand, everything is underneath this air box. And this air box, the air filter is so small, it's, it's crazy. Here, I'll show it to you. That's the air filter right there. That's it. Crazy how small the air filter is. Um, the actual, uh, get back in there. Uh, the actual intake is underneath, uh, again, a composite intake. The uh, charge air uh, goes in here to the back of the turbo, comes out through here, goes into an air to air intercooler in front of the, in front of the radiator. And then it comes out and then actually goes underneath. And then as you can see right here, son, that is where the throttle body is. And then it comes, snakes up over, and then it just goes right into the engine that way. Again, pretty cool. One of the things I've noticed about this new 2-liter MPC EcoBoost engine is how much smoother it is. And, and the, how it talks with the 8-speed automatic. It just, 
it's like a, almost a perfect combination. They they talk so well to each other. And one of the things I love about this engine is better than the old two liter is not only does it uh, doesn't only does it talk with the eight speed automatic better, but it also sounds better. It has a totally different sound to it than the older generation two liter. Yes, it's still a four cylinder. I get that, but in fact, let me show you. Let me show you how it sounds. We've got the intake off. We'll, we'll rev it up with that off, and then I'll show you what the exhaust sounds like as well. Totally different sound to this engine from the older two liters. So we'll do the exhaust real quick, son, if you want to get up close. And... Very sporty. And then if you come over here, so what we're going to do is we're going to wait for it to settle down. Right now it's running on both the direct injection and the forward injection, running both at the same time. Do you hear the direct injection ticking away right now? And then what we're going to do is just give it a little bit. It's actually going to kind of smooth out, settle down, and the engine actually will get quieter. It will actually get quieter. You hear the direct injection actually stop working, and then the port injection will actually just continue on. So, oh, it's got ready to do it right now. Did you just hear that? I mean, the engine totally changed in its pitch. No longer do I hear direct injection chiming away. All you hear right now is the port injection working, and it's just sitting here running about 800 RPMs. Let me hear. Let me show you what it sounds like with this up and off here. Anyway, let's go ahead and go into the interior right now and I'll show you some of the changes they did on the inside of the new Escape. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so we're inside the new SG line Ford Escape. I'm gonna turn it on real quick because it's a little warm outside, so we'll get some air going. I love the new 13 inch, I think it's 13.1 inch screen. Uh, what we have in front of me is the new uh, gauge cluster right up front here, very cool looking, um, all digital. And uh, there, are some, there are some quirks and everything that, I, that I'm not too crazy about, but overall, I believe this is a nice, nice update to the Ford Escape. I think right here, this right here is is absolutely amazing. There's so much custom custom ability you can do with this screen. Uh, you can do a full screen because it has wireless Android Auto, wireless Cap Apple CarPlay, hooks uh, directly up to my phone. Yeah, I can get full maps on here, uh, my music. Uh, yeah, listen to some Southern Gospel and then everything else in between. And then right down here is all your climate control. Yes, all the climate control is touch for the most part, but you kind of get used to it after a while, it's not too bad. And then if I want to kind of minimize the screen, I can bring up fuel economy stats. Right now I've been getting about 31 miles per gallon, actually a little bit better. Um, since I've been running it, it's been, miles per gallon has been going down, but um, that's another thing I noticed about the, uh, the new two liter is that it actually does better miles per gallon than the older one. And it's smoother, there's a lot more variable power, um, and then you can actually hear the turbo whistle in this two liter versus uh, the older one as well. It just It's a better sounding engine. I really do enjoy uh, what Ford did. I think they did a great job with the update of the new Escape. I think that the new two liter is just uh, the putting on the top of the cake. Is that even correct? Putting No, sprinkles on the top of the cake, amen. Hallelujah, anyway, so, but I think what they did was great. Uh, still good quality. I love this SC line with the seats. Absolutely looks amazing with the red stitching. Got some cloth in here. Actually feels pretty nice. Um, and then uh, they got some red stitching on the door here with the nice padded armrest. Padded armrest right here. I love the new steering wheel. This I wish I could take off and put in my Maverick. Flat bottom. Just feels good in the hand. I love the stitching. Love the grippiness of it. It just really is a nice meaty steering wheel. In fact, I wish I could lift this whole interior and put on my Maverick. It just looks absolutely amazing. Love the screen. Um, even though I have to use the climate control, it's a little bit 
difficult to get used to, but it, you can get used to it. We have um, 360 camera. There goes my camera modes, everything else. That, that's looking out the, the front there. I can change different views. I can look out the back, I think, something like that. Anyway, it's all right. Um, and uh, so anyway, this is just a quick overview. Wanted to highlight the new Ford Escape engine and the new 2-liter EcoBoost MPC 4-sonar by Ford. Absolutely. And from what I understand, this engine, the only thing it shares with the old engine is displacement and power, and that's it. Maybe a few nuts and bolts, but other than that, there's nothing related to this new engine versus the older 2-liter EcoBoost, which dates its origins back to Mazda MZR 4-cylinder. This is totally a clean sheet for design on this MPC 2 liter and the MPC 2.3 that's in the new 2024 Mustang. I can't wait for, for, to, for Ford to put more of this engine in, more of its products, because it's definitely a generation above what we have now in the 2 liter EcoBoost. Definitely a much better engine. And uh, from what I understand, the new Lincoln Nautilus that's coming out is going to have this engine paired up to an ECVT for the hybrid, which would be pretty cool. Anyway, this is JMC6000. Thank you for joining me on this new official 2023 Ford Escape review highlighting the new 2-liter EcoBoost. So glad you guys could be a part of it. Like, comment, subscribe for more videos. I upload every single Wednesday morning. I'm trying to get some more shorts out and whatnot, so I'll have that going as well, on as well. And appreciate you guys tuning in. You guys be blessed. Have a wonderful day. All right, JMC6000 here again. Just a concluding portion of the... Ford Escape with the 2.0 MPC 4 sonar. I found out what it stands for. Metrotrend did an article back in September when the new Mustang was released. But I have it right here for you. Um, MPC stands for Modular Power Cylinder. And it refers to the 2.3 but also the 2.0 in which refers to the combustion chamber, valve, injector orientation, piston dome, all which get engineered and optimized once applied to a family of engines, in this case, inline 3 and 4 cylinders. So it was more than just the 2.3. The 2 liter got it. And uh, anyway, as you can see, that's what MPC stands for. And if you look at pictures of... Let me go back up here. If you look at pictures of this 2.3, the 2 liter in that Escape is so very, very similar. Look, aluminum valve cover... The uh, intake variable cam actuators right on the front there, just like on that 2 liter we had. Um, the stubby intake, the throttle body right there. Everything is very similar to that 2 liter that we just had in that Escape. So anyway, just kind of some origin and backstory to what the MPC means on the 2.3 and the 2 liter that was just I just recorded for that Ford Escape. All right, you guys be blessed. Again, like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have any comments, put them in there. If you have any questions, I'll do best to answer them as best as I can. And if you guys want to look at this, it is the deep dive over on Motor Trends website on the Mustang powertrain covering the new MPC 2.3 and also uh, goes for the 2 liter as well that we just went over. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.